Well, hello, all my machine heads, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Realistic Farming Series on Adding in Park, where we use real tractors, we use real equipment, we have our realistic tutorials, and we have a real lot of fun. So how's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic as usual. All right, so let's get this started. Awesome. I don't know which button I just hit. <laughs> been a while since I've been out in this series. But you guys know the way it goes. You're going to lose the game sounds, but you're not going to lose me. I want to make sure I am recording, and I am, I am, I am. All right, so we've had a few family members message me today get this closed down and ask me if I could come out of cab a little bit just a little bit just a wee bit all right so we last we last left off we mowed that so guess what we're gonna windrow it today we're gonna head over and drop this off at the BGA and we're gonna grab our windrow so I'm gonna come out of cab just a little bit today and do a little both we could still be realistic and be out of cab. It's pretty cool. It gives you an idea to see what tractor I'm using and things like that. So you guys didn't add anything to the song. So I'm going to have to sing it Gutterball's way. He was he was laughing hysterically. And I got to add it. I got to add it. I got to add it. So here we go. Get ready for the guys in the white coats. Old Mercury had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had some cows, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo, old Mercury had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and... The second verse is, Oh, McFury had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a hangnail, E-I-E-I-O, with a ouch, ouch here, and an ouch, ouch there, here an ouch, there an ouch, everywhere an ouch, ouch, Oh, McFury had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here moo, there moo, everywhere moo moo, and a hangnail. <laughs> so we did it, everyone. So we got our second verse out of the way. And let me get this in here like this. Get over, 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 fairy. steering this in just a little bit here now let's get a little bit fear i'm so used to doing this in cab i went out of cab a little bit but we gotta stay in cab for this because i steer better in cab awesome awesome get her turned a little more tight and then turn her. i gotta buy a pressure washer so i can wash this girl yeah, we'll just get her in here just like this for now, and then we'll rearrange everything. There. Let's get out and get this going. Going. Boy, that's filthy. Little machine, little machine. Now we got to go around this side. We got to go around this side. Look at that green tractor. <laughs> I don't know why it put me that way, but. Alright, 
so now we can come back out a little bit and see if we can not hit this Huh. Oh boy. All right. Come back in here for a second and see if I can do this from in cab. Because I don't want to activate super strength if I don't have to. It's not very realistic. Let's get here turned. And if we have to, we'll go this way. Yeah, I knew we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. So we'll stay this way. Perfect. We'll cut right through the bunker here. There. Let me scoot up so I can drive because generally speaking i use the controller but today on this series i really 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 work hard to use the steering wheel and my mouse but so we're going to head right here to this field right here and we're going to windrow this field while we're here and then once we get out and get going here we'll be able to perfect a little bit wide here and then we'll crank her in here and let me jump out and we will perfect awesome it's almost like we knew what we're doing huh <laughs> what do you guys got going on on your farms i like hearing about it i really 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 do This, and now we're going to get out here so we can kind of see for you guys. Shut our door just like we normally would. Let's get her just a little bit squared up here because we'll come around at the end of our pass. And let's get out just a little bit. Awesome. Let's go, everyone. We're doing it. We're windrowing. Yeah, we had a couple family members that said, Hey, Fury, can you uh, go out of cab a little bit? Just so they can visualize the field and what's going on. It's hard to tell in, in cab what you're doing. So I'll come out once in a while and play like that. Let me get my steering wheel. There we go. Get her turned up. A little bit wider out here so we can kind of see what we're doing. Hitting the hedges, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Scraping the edge, as my dad would say. Perfect. We'll do two or three headlands and then we'll start doing the passes we might just go around in a circle on this field i don't know we haven't decided yet as we're going yes don't hesitate to put that in there uh we've got uh tomorrow series will be my logging i had to change maps because you guys know fury fury doesn't put up with many issues if there's an issue with a map i uh i just get rid of the map so that Piney Run has a couple of issues and it's in dire need of an update, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. It's still a good map. Just needs an update. Uh, but uh, I will be picking a different logging map, which is kind of cool. And I got a pretty cool challenge set up for that, which is even cooler. Oh, I'm going to miss some here. That's all right. It's really hard for me to play like this after I've been playing so long in cab. Um, 
We're going to miss this whole corner because I want to get this around here. Just so we can do this. I'll do one headland like this. And then we'll go in cab because it's driving me nuts. There we go. It's so much better in cab. But I got tired of the screenshots always showing uh, just this. It looks like I'm just doing the same thing over and over and over again. For those of you who have watched the series realize that I'm not doing the same thing over and over again. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so anyways, Multiplayer Friday. Uh, this goes out to everybody. We're going to do a, a, a really cool challenge this time. Uh, I've got a couple of maps that are in... The works, um, either Western, Great Western Australia, or we are going to do the new one of the new maps. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the cool thing. Wisconsin came up with a good idea without really coming up with a good idea. <laughs> uh, in the comment, he said that he plays mostly vanilla uh, with not many mods, with just script mods. So we're going to try that. We're going to do that. We're going to play. Basically, with no modded tractors, no modded anything, the only thing we're allowed to use is scripts mods, like Precision Farming and Maze Plus and the Grazing Mod, things like that. We're allowed to do that, but because I think that way it would solve the problem of the mods and that there's that's it. What the scripts are in there, it, it's going to challenge us uh, to have to like plow with a moldboard plow and things like that. It's going to be kind of cool, actually. Kind of excited about it. Not going to lie, not going to lie. All right, so we did a little bit in there. Let's come out here so you guys can see what's going on. As you can see, with the mower I pick, it, it, it will windrow three rows up. So I'm picking the middle one. And it usually just gets me right about the edge. Uh, and then we're going to go in and mow, mow our cow pen. Uh, next, windrow it. Uh, we're actually going to, no, I think what we'll do is, yeah, we'll go ahead and mow that too. And if we have time at the end of the day, then we'll bale everything up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the bales down to the actual bale cell point. So when they ferment, all we have to do is put them in the uh, cell point as silage. And that'll be our first bit of money. But uh, as you can see, we got $1,085. Oh, that's really far out. This tree's getting away. Um, what we're doing is we make uh, we make about three hundred and eighty dollars an hour from the fishery on hard mode, and it's kind of cool because it's free money and it just kind of comes in. But we still have to take a lease out of every piece of equipment that we own. So it's over here because I'm gonna miss some. There we go. Now we'll come back in here for a little while. Just so we can do both a little bit. You guys get the best of both worlds on that. But yeah, I was telling Gutterball on the uh, on our Two Brothers series that, man, I've got the best of both worlds, and, and you guys get the best of all the worlds, too. I've got a realistic series for those of you who like realism. Uh, I got a uh, series of logging series for those of you who like to watch clearing the land and getting everything all set up and building then i've got a series uh with basically multiplayer with my brother gutterball and then i've got the multiplayer friday so it is you guys get to see you know multiple multiplayers you guys get to see the uh uh the realism that you like in this one this series and like i explained to him that it's not going to matter um, which map I'm on. The days that I released those. Sorry, I was trying not to steer out in the middle of the field. Uh, it won't matter to me what map we decide to do, whatever. Every Tuesday and Thursday video release will be the Realistic series. Uh, no matter what map we're on. Uh, every Wednesday and Friday will be the logging. No matter what map we're on. That's what we're going to do. Uh, every Saturday will be Multiplayer Friday, and every Monday will be Gutter Balls. That's uh, 
that's the schedule I'm going to keep, and I'm excited about that because it gives me a chance to um, not have to worry about, and you guys don't have to worry about either. You can you know you'll blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, you guys will know uh, what's being released. We may be different maps. We may be different challenges. We may be different everything. But those are going to be the, st the staples. So even though we're doing a realistic series on Tuesdays and Thursdays, there may be different challenges involved with that. You know, different monies, different equipment, different things owned, different maps. But it'll always be a realism. So for the guys like Bill and uh, Ian... And those guys, those like those guys love, love, love the realistic stuff. Every Tuesday and Thursday, guys, those will be your those will be your days that you tune in for that. And we go from there. It's gonna be awesome, awesome. We're gonna try to make it right around the corner here, the corner here, the corner, the corner, the corner. We'll swing her a little bit wide, and we'll go hard. And we did not. So, raise it up. Because I am not windrowing that corner. <laughs> the windrower you want to pick up if you're backing up. Definitely. There we go. Perfect. And uh, perfect. And let's get over here this way. But that way, I, I decided to do that because it just seemed a little bit easier. Uh, than trying to guess what we're doing. You guys will also see that when I'm using my controller, the wheels twitch, but it gives me a lot more control. I will tell you, the steering wheel is great for realism. It's absolutely great, but boy, is she, um, like, slow. And I know that you can turn up the sensitivity and stuff, but you're still steering with a steering wheel. So it still only goes as fast as I can let it. It, like... The controller will turn on a dime. And I know, I know, I know you can change all that stuff. So please don't put in the comments. <laughs> you know, Fury, you can change that because I'm already fully aware of it. But thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. All the wonderful comments. All the brand new family members that we've gotten. Oh, it's been great. You guys have been awesome watching. And everybody's getting their own little series that they're watching. It's great. Uh, I mean, it just means the world to me that people will, will DM me and they'll be like, oh my gosh, I strictly watch your realism series. It's great. Or I strictly watch the logging or vice versa or Gutterball and I, you know, we just did that huge silage uh, harvest and we finished off camera, which was pretty cool. I'm not going to not going to tell you guys too much what we did because that's for him and I to set up. That's the cool thing. That's our thing can't ask for a better guy to to do things with so chill and i can't talk about him for a half an hour because he he kind of said something to me about that so i want to talk about other things uh let's see shall we i missed that see the steering wheel like it's great and everything for realism like when you're driving but when you're trying to do implements the best way to do it, I think, is either with keyboard and mouse or the controller. See, that's my controller. I can just kind of do it the right way. In-game, anyways. Look oh, at this little fast track. It's a nice little tractor. See the difference, though, guys and gals? That uh, we don't have to... We're not wind-rowing wind-rows. We're wind-rowing the, the grass on the ground. Now, I am excited. This Now, this series does not have Maze Plus, but uh, going forward, we will make sure it gets added because that is realistic. The biggest thing that I enjoy about Maze Plus is the fact that it forces you to tend the grass three times, which is, I don't know how many times I've said it on here, super realistic. And we're going to stop here. Raise her up. Back her around. Yeah, because this, uh, I mean, I get it why they did it. The, the whole just Ted in one time. I get it. They just want people to, they realize that a lot of people don't want to Ted a grass three times. But for those of us like myself that enjoy the realism and 
the same company that did the Maze Plus did the grazing mod as well as the food uh, for them, for the cows and any other animals. Well, I think it's just cows. But that's what I'm talking about is like you can edit in Maze Plus. You can edit what you feed them. Uh, and it's absolutely great because I set mine up to feed them soybeans and silage, which is exactly what I fed them in real life. So, exciting. Yep, we'll do one more headland. We might, just, like I said, we might just keep going around like this. It seems to be working pretty good. And the other thing I wanted to point out was, you know, it's great. I'm getting a lot of messages and Gutterball's getting a lot of messages and comments and things but you guys are more than welcome to ask if i'll do something uh but it but <laughs> it doesn't mean that i'm going to because i have a certain criteria as far as this game goes this series goes that i have to follow and that's the, as realistic as i can within the constraints of the game because what we run into a lot of times is you would normally like for example without maze plus in here you would ted three times in real life but <laughs> this only has to Ted one time and I make hay. So that's why I always put in the description, everyone, that we play as realistic as we can within the constraints of the game. And that's it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. So should we get a trivia out of the way? Should we get a trivia? Trivia, trivia? So, yeah, let's get trivia out of the way. Trivia, 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 trivia. All right, so you guys know that we are doing a JCB trivia, all right? And because we always do it on whatever implements and tractors we use and on that map. That's what our trivia is going to be. So because we're using JCB on this map, I'm going to ask you, what is the three, three different versions of on a JCB skid steer of the wheel configuration. And you guys should know this because it's in-game. So what are the three wheel configurations for a JCB skid steer or skid loader, whichever one you call it. We called it a skid loader, but the game calls it a skid steer. So and ready. A do 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 a do 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 and your final answer go you are the weakest link goodbye i was watching some of that stuff that old school it's pretty cool actually i i had forgotten how fun it was especially when they get like the famous celebrity edition on there and you realize that like i'm screaming at the tv the answer and they're like, uh, no. <laughs> so, look how much better these windrows look when you're picking up just the square grass. Or laid down grass, not windrows. So, yep, I think what we'll do is once we get this windrowed up, we'll head over to the cow pen. We'll mow that. We'll get that windrowed up, uh, which we should have... Now, what you would normally do, and the only reason I did it differently is because it kind of changed. Remember, we were going at 0 0.5 speed, and then we decided to change it to 1x, and we changed a lot. We changed the beginning part of this series. Uh, normally, you would mow, mow, mow. Then you'd windrow, 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 or Ted, 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 and then windrow. You know, you do all of it, and then put your implement away, and it's done. But because we started and then changed a little bit, I'm a little bit off with what I do, what I'm doing here. So I want to keep going, but I also, I think I might silage these up and that'll give me something to do the following day. But remember, at playing 1x speed for one day months, when we get done with this, it will be, it will have taken us a full month to get two fields done. So it's, it's a little less realistic because in real life you could really mow that both of these fields in probably a day uh, and then you would come back and it would depending on your, your your weather because you would want yourself to have at least two or three or four days possibly a week even of really nice weather to make hay 
but we're not making haze we're making silage so you could have all this mowed and probably windrowed up and picked up probably in a week realistically but we're doing it in uh we're doing it in a month we're gonna we're gonna do that we're gonna simulate that uh the other thing is too what's cool is my i you know i was telling you guys in the beginning that we've got the best of all the worlds for every let's play uh for like the kind of plays that you guys like <clears throat> let me close chain tink wait oops we gotta the uh my logging one will be a faster series will be played at like 10x or 15x speed for those of you who like to see us power through a bunch of months you know what i mean let's go backwards over this so I can grab that corner so that's kind of cool too so that'll be a series that we that we power through well you know at 15x speed it's only like to go 12 hours is less than an hour of gameplay so we definitely will be getting through a day uh every day within uh the video time which is kind of cool uh so that way on that series two at 15x speed i will be playing multiple day seasons i'm thinking of doing 15x speed 15 day months but i'm thinking just so it's even because as much as fury wants to go 28 day months we all know that that becomes excruciatingly long we know that now i should be playing that way for this series but i am i i'm not so i think what i'll do is the next uh when we get off this map and we change i think instead of 1x i think i'll keep it at like 3x and go like you know, I do want to. I do eventually want to bring in the 28 day months, but I'm not going to do it at one X because you would literally run out of stuff to do, and you'd be fast forwarded anyways. So, <clears throat> we definitely found out you can't lease equipment playing one X speed because it will charge you. <laughs> we found that out. Remember? All right. So I'm going to come down here and then go back. I'll complete this this row here and then we'll start turning around and coming back and forth nice picking up nice picking up nice picking up nice it's great really like the look of the JCB it's, it's, it's different that's for sure that is for sure Yeah, I gotta slow that down there for a second. I gotta uh, buy a pressure washer, but everything we buy, we gotta take a loan. More of a loan, more of a loan, which is the same as what we talked about in the beginning. You're still having and an kind of like to pay back your loan type thing, but it gives you a chance to do it realistically. And off we go. We're going to go back and forth. Now we're doing what's called passes. We did rounds. We did four rounds on this side and three on the other. We got ourselves to a situation where we can turn ourselves around. Like the hokey pokey, you know. <laughs> you put your left foot in. You put your right foot out. Something like Left foot in, left foot out. Oh my gosh, I almost ru ruined the song. For those of you who are pokey pokey fans <laughs> uh, I think it's something I think we've all done over our lifetimes but I really appreciate the, the kind words and the kind messages and oh man oh so anyways for those of you who are new to the channel and new family members welcome 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 to the new ones 
as Gutterball says. Make sure you're reminding the people, thanking them, thanking them for coming. So I wanted to make sure I thought about it and thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your day to watch the videos that I post, to watch the video that Gutterball and I post, to watch Multiplayer Friday's videos. I'm just super excited that uh, you guys are tuning in and watching, and it means the world to me. You know, I didn't get into this whole thing for money. I got into this because I enjoy farm sim, and I wanted to teach as much farming as I could. But for those of you who are new, uh, for those of you who have been here a while, I call all of you guys my OGs. Uh, you guys know that. So for all of my OGs out there, cover your ears. This goes to the new people. For all of my new family members that are brand new and for the first or second time watching a Fury Machine video, uh, I don't call any of you guys subscribers. I call you family members uh, because, to me, you guys are. Every single night that I record, you guys are watching the videos and you're joining me on journeys and you're talking with me and conversing with me. You may not be doing it live, but you're doing it in the comments and you're doing it to, to you know, in your own way. And just watching a video makes me happy. So for all of you new, so when I say the word family members, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you guys. I don't. I think it's the most disrespectful thing, in in my opinion. To, it's just my opinion, and my opinion means absolutely nothing in the real world. So, to me, in my opinion, I think it's rude to call people subscribers and beg people to subscribe. Uh, I do it at the end of my videos because it's a little spiel that I do, and I I started doing it at the very beginning, uh, and I've just kind of continued it. Um, but I just think personally, I think it's a, I just think for call you guys subscribers, I think that's like something that like the phone company would use. That's just my opinion. Um, but you guys are, are joining a channel rather than subscribing to it. We're still on the fence about when we're going to get going on lives. I really, really, really want to get Multiplayer Friday on a live uh, so you guys can hear first in hand and foremost like a live it'll allow us to play a little bit longer it'll allow me to record just a little bit longer uh, because when I record when I re the, the, the graphics that I record at it does take a lot of space up uh, you know I'll, a normal vid for me will be anywhere between 27 and 60 gigs depending on what I do for editing and what I do for that so and I have to render that down to fit on YouTube so it's uh it could be a long haul but lives don't it's just taking the the thing right off my internet so I could play for two three hours and then we'll we, we will throw a live in with gutterball because he's he's getting excited about it uh once again gutterball will be my moderator for that uh I'm having problems um Getting the link to him, uh, I know that I have to send an invite to him because it, uh, YouTube explained it to me, uh, and he has to accept it to become a moderator. But man, am I having trouble because I tried to send the link like four times today because I promised him I'd send it today, and it literally kept saying link invalid. So I've got to figure out what to do there. Um, hey, he knows. He knows. You know um, what's going on. I, I stay in constant communication with him pretty much every day. Maybe not from the hours of like 3.30 in the morning until about 3.30 at night because Gutterball works. You know, I'm retired, so I don't work for a living, but he works. And so I have to respect him. So usually between those hours, I don't bother him. I don't talk to him. I don't, I try to give him the respect. And then I, you know, when he first gets home from work, I'm, I'm like not going to blast him with a bunch of stuff. I want to give him the time. Let him at least get his jacket off. <laughs> that's, that's what I used to always say. You know, my wife would be like, hey, uh, can you do this? And I'd be like, can I at least get my jacket off? Because he's been putting in an awful lot of work. And it's what we all have to realize is, you know, when you work a real job and then trying to help Fury out as much as you can. You know, I just try to give him the guy as much credit as I can because he's amazing. But there, that's it, Gutterball. I'm not talking about you again. Now shut up. <laughs> All right, so let's get this, I think, now coming down. We are going to just go to here and then turn around. And that's it. That's what we'll do. 
That's what we'll do. Yeah, so anyways, I'm excited because the Multiplayer Friday is going to be something that we've never, ever, ever done. And we've always, and, and Gutterball and I talked about it in depth pretty much the other day on our Two Brothers series yesterday. That, uh, you know, we wanted everybody to pick a certain amount of mods. But if we go completely vanilla other than the scripts, and I'll pick the scripts. No one else will have to. Um, and then we're done. And then we don't ever have an issue with we got too many mods. We got nothing. We got the game. We will use the tractors and the implements that are in the game. And that's what we'll use. Because I'm so used to playing with mods, it'll be kind of refreshing to play a series where I'm using the in-game stuff. It'll be kind of nice. Especially for a multiplayer game where uh, you guys all know when you uh, turn it, when you try to play, join a multiplayer game and they've got like 800,000 mods, it takes you like two and a half hours to join. So... Will that be that way always? No. But it'll be exciting. Because the in-game factories are getting better and better and better. And we'll just use them that way. We'll use the in-game factories just like you're, like everyone else does. Just because Fury goes out and gets all these 500... And, there's Farmer Z. Oh, my gosh. I haven't seen him in forever. Um, as soon as, uh, you know... Well, what I was saying is, you know, everybody wants the latest, greatest, like Fury has, the latest, greatest equipment as far as the uh, factories go. But the in-game ones aren't bad. They just, the problem that I have with them is they don't hold a lot. So when you're on a 4X map and you're trying to, like, uh, put, uh, like, you're trying to bail up stuff, the, the, the in-game bailers are real small as far as, like, they don't, your bail size is like 3,500. I know some of them change, but it's crazy. All right. Get this is done. It is nice to see Farmer Zeon playing Farm Sim. Poor guy's been so busy. I decided, like, you guys like this. I decided to go third person out here so you guys can see. It is hard to enjoy a map when you're constantly seeing this. It's like all you see is out the front of it. And as much as that's realistic, it's it's nice as a video game to see some of the visuals of the map. You get a chance to see like the how big the, the fields are. And on this map, man, I'm telling you, the fields are bigger than you think. So, it's exciting. Hopefully I can get this done within an hour. And then we're right back on the... We're going to head over if we've got time and mow the cow pen. Ah, as I yawn a little bit. A little bit, a little bit tired tonight, but not bad. As I told Gutterball, I've been cleaning all day. I've been working on that barn. Trying to get it winterized, if you know what I mean. Because... All summer long, everything just kind of gets thrown in the barn and doors get shut and you just, everything gets thrown in there and, and you don't really see how much you've acquired over the summer. You know, lawnmower parts and things and, you know, basically is what a garage looks like. So the last couple of days I've been cleaning pretty much all day. Plus getting my video game fixes out of the way. I've been playing Skyrim lately and then it's, you know, experiment with different builds and my buddy PC Outcast, he, he does 100% Skyrim videos, and he does different builds and stuff. So I've been trying to follow a couple of his builds that he's been doing. Uh, for those of you who do not know what Skyrim it is, it's basically a role-playing game set basically in the medieval times. And you have your your, uh, your, your, you know, your magic users and your uh, sword users and sort of thing like that. And... Uh, you know, I've posted a few videos over the, over the last couple and a half years. <laughs> and of course, I play my truck sim. Boy, I tell you, Gutterball nailed it. He knows exactly what I play. It's funny. Talk about a guy who pays attention. A couple more passes, and this bottom half will be done. You guys have been wonderful. 
We've had so much interaction. We've had so much fun. Uh, it's been great. And some of the comments are absolutely awesome. You know. But now that... <clears throat> now that we've got a schedule set up, it's so much easier. I was telling my wife, I don't have to sit and think now about what I'm playing. I know what series, I know what style of play I'm playing for that map. Uh, I may forget, like, it. <laughs> We're getting ready to, we have to, we had to start a new map for the logging one. I liked Piney Run. It was exciting and got going at it. But uh, when I couldn't even cut the trees in the beginning because the map isn't set up right to delim those trees. And I tried an in-game harvester. I tried a modded harvester, tree harvester. And you could not delim those big ones or the little baby trees. Remember the one I was trying to do down by the store? It just wouldn't work. So I was like, okay, that's something that in that's something that the mod author overlooked. You know, you gotta have when you have a logging map, you gotta be able to uh, log, not just chip up everything. Plus there was a I don't know if I told you guys, but there was a random like three hundred or four hundred dollar fee that was coming in every day. They were just making free of charge. It wasn't like no fishery or anything that I had to buy. Like, on this map, it has a fishery, and I had to go purchase it. So I know ahead of time that there's the money coming in. But you're trying to do a, a extreme challenge of starting with zero, and all of a sudden you got, like, $400 in the bank. You're like, where'd that come from? It's crazy. So it's just a few issues. Was it game-breaking? No, I could have stayed on it. But I decided to go a different a different map, and you guys will see that tomorrow. Different challenge altogether. We're going to make it simplified because we're all down with the sickness. You know what I mean. <laughs> For those of you who know that song, let me know. And who the singer is and all that stuff. What band? <laughs> As you guys can see, Fury is a trivia music aficionado. I'll have a random song that'll come and pop in my head and, you know, like the other, what was it, a couple of days ago, it was Insane in the Membrane by Cypress Hill, like a early to mid-90s song. It just kind of popped into my head. Now, I don't listen to rap per se, but I do like it. There is some songs out there that I do like, so it's not a, I like all kinds of music. The only thing I don't really like is classical, and it's only because I don't understand it, but doesn't mean it's bad i just don't understand how the it's like there's no it's just music being played which which in reality is exactly what music is what songs are is just music if you took your favorite song out there and took the words out of it it's no different than classical you're just playing it instrumental but that's pretty much the only one i won't listen to uh is is classical because I just don't get it. But I listen to pretty much a lot. Pretty much everything. Uh, but my favorites are classic rock. You know. Um, things like that. That for you guys. My younger crowd here. My younger family members don't understand who that is. <laughs> some of the. Some of the. Even the groups from the 80s now. That are, that are considered classic rock. That's 30 years ago. So. For many of my family members who aren't even 30 yet, you wouldn't even know what those that music is. It's crazy. It's like my granddaughter. She was born in, in 2000. She's going to be 22. It's like, uh, yeah, Fury, Fury's old. So... Time waits for no man. That is the truth. My mommy taught me that one. Look at us. Look at us. It's almost like we know what we're doing here with Winter Owen. It's almost like we know. I'm going to grab this and this together here. Actually, let me go down. We'll take that wind row all the way up by itself. Let 
we're making pretty good time. 45 minutes and we're almost about 15, 20 more minutes and we'll be wind road up. It'll be nice. We'll come back. Next time I'll grab the bush hog again. Uh, and we will mow the cow pen. Now, I won't be able to mow it. Well, I have to put the grazing mod in. But I don't... The, the cool thing is, is I, I still... I've got Wisconsin all over it. He's our resident. He's going to let me know how scripts work. He always does. And he'll let you guys know, too. He'll leave it in the comments, and he'll let us know how it works. If it's practical, if it's worth it, uh, if it's real enough for, for how it works in modern farming today. So, he's all over that right now. He's working on that. He'll let us know, and we'll try to use that as much as we can. I don't have it in this game, but I will eventually. I like the grazing mod. That's the one I was looking forward to. But I, what I'm concerned about is that in the base game, you feed them grass, and you get nothing. You, you get, like, nothing in return. They won't even produce milk on just grass. I don't think... They might. But I do like how you can put them in the pen. And depending on how many you got in there will be how much they eat. <laughs> Had to back up a little bit and grab that little little piece. See, I'm missing these little pieces, which is not the end of the world, but hey, it's all feed. I got really steered off that one. My wind rows are crooked. Which is fine for me. It's the guy coming along bailing. It's going to be like, uh, uh, Fury must have did this. I like how the BGA is right here. And they will buy it, but, but I don't know how much they give me for it. I'll have to look it up. You know what? Let's do it right now. Let's go. Let's see where they sell silage. Silage. Okay. Livestock, bio. All right. So, realistically, I can bail them up and put them right here and sell them right. No, they're, yeah, they're buying it. I can buy silage? From a purchase point? Hmm. Because what would be cool is if that purchase point sold it to you for the price that you would get for the, uh, at the biogas plant, because you're going to get free slurry, basically. That's kind of cool. So, yep, we can sell them right here, and I guess we would probably get them at midnight. Yeah, we can stack them right up inside there someplace. I also really like the fact that you can open up the bales. Like, uh, as soon as they get done. Just like real life, you can cut open a bale and feed them a silage bale. Because you don't just throw the plastic and everything in there. I hope you guys realize that. When you put a silage bale in for the cows, you got to cut it open. And it's got the silage wrapper. It's got netting. you got to take all of that stuff off of the cows. We'll eat it. It's just basically, the way I can describe it, what a silage, what, what, the plastic that wraps the silage is it reminds me of a giant garbage bag that's what it reminds me of a little thicker maybe the maybe the strength of like the contractor garbage bags um 
That's pretty much what it reminds me of. Nice, nice, nice. We're going along. We only got a couple more passes here. And sorry, is my shoulder itched? <laughs> oh, come on, Fury. We did that last row, too. I'm still used to doing it from in here, but that's all right. That's all right. We got to appease some people sometimes. You guys wanted to see it. I probably got about 15, 20 messages uh, about putting it out in so you guys can see it. This is the part that drives gutter ball nuts is, you know, wind rowing at six miles an hour when the, I think the base game goes 11. Harvesting at three, he's like, uh, Fury, I'm, I'm not doing that. So don't ask me to do it. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, she's a magic man. Ooh, Barracuda. <laughs> it just popped into my head. It's two different songs I just put together. Both by the same group, but I put them, you know, two different songs. All right, so let's go down here now. Start whipping. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Be a part of it. New York, New York. <laughs> Gotta get my New York accent. New York. See, we were born upstate. There's two different states in New York. There's upstate and downstate. And downstate is the New York City, Manhattan, and all those big cities. The rest of New York is upstate, and we... We don't have a big New York accent. I mean, we do, but we don't have that New York accent, like they say. Um, I'm from Brooklyn. You know, we don't we don't have that up here. We uh, are we have a tendency up upstate to talk fast, like we're just constantly moving our hands and talking, talking, talking. So that's I think the difference. I think in the actual New York City downstate, uh, I think. They still talk very fast, but not not like I do. Not like we do up here. It's almost like my dad used to say. It's like, you know, you got 15 points to prove, and you only got five minutes to say it. <laughs> What's going over with the kids today? Some of the old... Uh, some of the old saying that Pops used to say, you know, take 10, expect 5, get none. <laughs> when he would, back when he was a factory worker, you know, back when he was 15, 16 years old, did factory work, um, be long before he started the farm, the, uh, you know, he would, they would send you to break and he would be like, you know, take 10 minute break, expect five minute break, but you get none. <laughs> That's one of his favorite sayings is in the farming world, there is no breaks. And if you quote Rocky Three, there is no tomorrow. <laughs> I just watched that. It was a good movie. We've got about five minutes. We should have five more minutes. <laughs> Leave that space. Hopefully, we will. 
get this done in the next five minutes. Oh, I should have just went over and grabbed that whole, whole swash. The whole swash. <laughs> we had a local kid that was helping us on the farm growing up because it was me and my brother-in-law and my dad. And at the time, he wasn't my brother-in-law. He was just uh, working for my dad. He's working for the MCA, as Leonard Skinner would say. Uh, but uh, we hired this high school kid, and when he would do the, he would help us bail, and he would say, instead of swath, he'd say swash. I gotta go pick up the swash. Uh, okay, go do it. You're fine. Guys, you want me to run over the swash? And I used to always think he was saying squash. <laughs> it's like the movie Step Brothers. Uh, are you saying pow or pow? <laughs> All right, that's uh, this should be one little part up here, and otherwise, we got the field done within an hour, which is great. We'll move on to something different. Yeah, I think I'll sell it at the BGA right here, and then I'll get free uh, fertilizer from it. I'll get free slurry, and we'll be able to slurry these fields up. But I may just buy a roller. I don't know. I don't know, Scott. There we go. Let's head back to the farm. Two fields mode, two fields wind road. So now, go back in here. There. I kept one episode at least for the masses, as they say. The masses? We're going to end this right here. I can take this back off the farm. We'll let that run for just a second while I say my goodbyes, and then we'll come shut it off. All right. So we got our second field wind road. We're ready to bail both of these, but we're going to go over mow the mow. The, mow. <laughs> Papa ooh, mow, mow. Papa ooh, mow, mow. Sorry, we're going to mow the... Cowpen next. All these music references, guys. You gotta pick them up. You gotta pick them up. You gotta be fast. You gotta be handy with the steel. <laughs> uh, so, you ready? Okay, I gotta do my extra or outro, as they call it. Please, please, please look out for yourselves. Look out for each other. And most importantly, look out for each other's families. It's important not just to me, but it should be to you guys, too. Be sure to like and subscribe and share, share, share and hit the little notification ding, ding bell so you get notified when Fury drops a video because I'm all over the place now. That's cooled down enough. So give me a second. Here we go. Be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you are watching this. And I think that's it. I think that's wrapping it up. As soon as that says one o'clock, we will be out of here and see if I got time to run up here real quick. I want to see if that considers the cow pen on actual field. Now, once we get the uh, maize plus in here, I won't be able to mow the cow pen anymore because I'm going to need it for grazing. Hmm. Apparently can't jump that. I do it the right way. But anyways, let me know what you guys got going on on your farms. Let me know what you got going on. Uh, if you're excited about multiplayer as much as I am, uh, it's been so long since I've been hanging out with the guys. Uh, and make sure you guys are leaving. Oh, I'm going to challenge you just like Gutterball did to make sure that you are commenting. I don't care if it's the letter A, B, C, pick a letter and every day go through it if you want. Uh, get our comments up, get our likes, make sure you are liking. That's the biggest thing. Liking the video and leaving a comment. And on that note, Fury Machine will catch you all tomorrow on our new logging map. I love, love, love you all and have a great night.